Well, here to show us how to survive is B.J. Fisher. He's president of the American Lifeguard Association. Thanks. Thank you. Our next beach danger that you need to avoid is maybe sometimes unavoidable because you can't see them. We're going to teach you how to treat it if it does happen. I'm talking about jellyfish stings. If you've ever been stung by one, you know they can be incredibly painful. So, B.J., come up here and... Hang out with our, our fun friends, friends here. I can't believe you brought live ones here on the stage. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a real deal. Who, what's and everyone in the audience is going home with one of these today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fake version. What part of this do we need to worry about? Exactly. It's the tentacle area that, uh, that the problem is. You're unaware that they're in the water. And the next thing you know, you have a intense pain, fire on your skin. And the, uh, these tentacles here have a, an emission of a... Uh, a cell, a stinging cell, that can generate over a million of these stinging cells onto the surface of your skin. And they don't fire all of a sudden. What they'll do is just a small percentage does, but as you, as you rub it, scratch it, move it, they start firing even more. So what do you do once you're stung? Well, first off, don't panic, because it's normally not a life-threatening situation. It's, it, it's more of a severe pain. Make your way back to the shore, and you need to sometime try to get the tentacles off with, with a gloved hand or tweezers or also rinse the area with salt water. They're finding that if you rinse it with fresh water, uh, it may actually activate the stinging cells even more. So don't urinate on them? No more urination on it. What's happened now, there's been a product that has come out last year and there have been a lot of studies on it and the active ingredient in this product here is called jellyfish squish. And what happens is that by spraying it on the affected area right away, it stops the stinging cells from administering the venom into your skin and also alleviates the pain. So again, this is something that's been made just for this. But again, the urination, the meat tenderizer, uh, alcohol, the uh, vinegar, all those are something that can sometimes work and sometimes cannot. The big concern I have as an ER guy is severe reactions. So if you're finding that you don't just have the pain, but you start to have other reactions, and if you're having difficulty breathing, breathing. or something like that, you need to call 911 or go see the doctor if you're having those type of reactions. Thanks a lot, BJ. Again, it's a pleasure. Thank you. I want to thank the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California for sending these little guys to us.